Or you hit it on your next expedition. Antarctica. Warmer. On skis, pulling sleds. Two of you? Yeah. No, we know we're going to host um, a team of six women from six continents okay. on the seventh continent. Oh, Snow wind is almost an everyday companion. You know, at the end of the day, it's just a tremendous privilege yeah, to be in that, yeah. that landscape. Do you think this movement's going to, uh, uh, you know, cause anything to happen? Yeah, I do. I think there's a shift happening. I think uh, I get a little tired about people talking about, you know, the, the focus of message, like we're all marketers or something. Yeah. But I said, you know, people are just ticked off. So yeah. isn't that a good enough message? <laughs> and I love it that people are coming from all sorts of places. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Anne has been uh, to both the Arctic and the Antarctic, as you know, in 86, right? to the Arctic, or the area, yeah, 25 years ago, right? And uh, to the Antarctic, two times, three times, right? And he has another trip planned. We'll be down there in exactly one year. So maybe we'll still be here in a year. What do you think? Uh, Sarah asked if I would come and talk about staying warm. Uh, but I have to confess right off the bat, I hate being cold. You know, I don't know how you'd pitch it out here, but I think a tarp is even better than a tent. But the key to either, you know, any of those structures is to have them low to the ground. The other sleeping trick I would say about socks, and there you go, uh, is take off the socks you've been standing around in all day. And take the one, a uh, fresh pair, maybe out of your armpit or out of your pocket or wherever you've stored it, and that's your sleeping sock. If you can stay away from coffee, I know you're sucking down a lot of coffee out here. Um, I was just offered a cup. Uh, the diuretics, not great for the circulation. I have been known to peel back a stick of butter and eat it like a Snickers bar. It takes a little imagination, but when it's, when it's uh, you know, 50 below, it goes down pretty easy. If you put your, if your gloves, your light gloves or whatever, if you have those on or your, your socks or whatever, if you stick those in your, your hat during the day, your stovepipe, all the heat coming out of the top of your head will eventually warm those if you don't need them at that moment. Take the sock off and put your hand on your heel, which has no circulation what, whatsoever, and warm it up, skin on skin, which is what you're talking about. And then once your foot gets warm again, you know, and your toes, you know, then you can put the sock back on and it's like you're, you're cooking. If you use a fiber fill bag, you know, they're oftentimes not quite as warm, but they will function when they're wet, um, and you will get wet. And I think, and you're also, you know, you're also getting the bag wet from the inside because of you. I think we give off about a pint and a half of moisture a night.